How you guys doing this afternoon? I sure do appreciate you guys coming out and visiting the channel. Whenever you stop by, I do appreciate it. Uh, like those buttons and subscribe. We sure do appreciate it. I was out in the grow room today. I got a few lights I ran across when I took my trash off a while back. And I was going to see if I could get them to work. Uh, they're regular old shop lights. But I'm going to switch them over to LED. And I thought I'd do a video on that and share that with you guys. You know, everything's expensive now. Every little bit of money you save, it, it really helps. Uh, especially in our situation. Uh, we try to do all we can around here to save money. Instead of running out and buy, I picked these lights up and thought I'd share that with you and show you how I'm going to switch them over to LED. Um, I got this thing open here. And I'm going to just run across and uh, I'm going to have to stop the video. I'm by myself. I'm going to have to stop the video and, and do a few cuts in this to get it done. But I got already got it open. And I want to run over the basics of it. It's very, it's very easy if you get the GIF of it. And that's what I want to make sure you understand is the GIF of it. If you get a, a ballast light, you can switch it over to LED. Very simple. Very simple. And you'll have your excellent grow light. LED is what you want when you use grow lights. Uh, some people still have the ballast lights, but everybody's getting out of that because you grow lights are now basically LED because you want that 6500 range on your light and you ballast lights, bulbs and all, they just, they're not getting there, you know, and you can get even higher, but I'll quit rambling and get on with this. Okay, what we're looking at here is the ballast in a regular shop light. Try to zoom out here, show you the shop light I picked up at the landfill there. All right, now what it is is they got these wires running in the ballast, and you got white wires and you got black wires. But the main thing you want to do is just cut all your wires off. It don't matter. Whatever, because we're doing away with the ballast. So it don't matter what we cut here. We're just cutting them all off. And the power cord's already loose and laying over to the side. I did that before I started the video. Now I have all the wires loose. And here's the GIF part of wiring it up on each end of the light is the ends where the light plugs in and what you'll have is these wires here you'll have a left side and a right side on each one of these plugs and what you want to do is separate that that's all they are to it you keep all your lefts together and all you rights together. For example, this one here is jumped. You can see it right here. This jump. So there won't be one for that. Except for one. You'll have one coming off of it right here. Instead of two. There won't be one on this other side. Because it's jumping over here to this side. So this outside one over here is jumped right here to this side. So there's only one on this end. Same for this, inside. You got your inside light, and they got this outside, or your right side, jumped to the left side. So that's all they've done. They took the outside, jumped it to this side, or your inside jumped to this side, and the outside jumped to this side. That's all they've done. So now you got one outside and one inside. Can't get no simpler than that. Now we'll take a look at the other end. That's your white. Now your black on these lights, you got all of them. 
but it's simple. It is simple. You do the same thing. What you'll do is you'll keep them separated. You'll take you outside to outside and inside to inside. That's all you'll do. Now, the trick to this is connecting both ends. You'll want to connect both ends together, white to black, and they make these fittings to where you could just take your wire and slide them into each other. I think I got one somewhere. Let me see. Uh, got one right here. They make these little plugs here that you can buy and slide your wire in. And that's all you're doing. These are jumpers too. If you slide into this one, that one's live and that one's live. So all you do is plug one in and it makes them all wire together. A lot simpler. And that's what I'll be using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this up right quick. And then I'll get back with you and let you see what it looks like. Hopefully you'll have a better understanding of how to take a regular shop light, ballast light, and turn it into a really great grow light. I'll get right back with you. Alright, welcome back. I have it wired up. I'll go over this with you guys and show you what it looks like. Okay. As you can see, we have two plugs here. You got a white wire and black wire going into two. You got two black wires and a white wire going into each one. The white wires are running to one end and it's the outside. One's the outside and one's the inside. Then you have two black wires the same way on this end. Two's going to the inside right here. And then you got two going to the outside. One plug. Let's see if I can get it in the frame here. Yep, right there. If you follow this right here, this plug here runs all the way down to the inside. And if you follow it from the plug, and it'll be to the inside of these plugs down here. As you can see, to the inside of them plugs right there. Right here. So you got all your insides from both ends hooked together. And you got all your outsides hooked together. That's all they are to it. Looks like a lot of wires and a lot of confusion. But it's not. You got a left and a right. Hook all your lefts together. And you hook all your rights together. That's all they are. Hook all your lefts. Hook all your rights. I'm going to get a pigtail. I got a pigtail to do. I'll show you the jumpers I made. Solid wire goes in these plugs, which is this right here. My pigtail I'm going to use is braided wire. So I'm not going to try to stick that braided wire in these clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a white on one side. I can do it yep pull white and it really don't matter what side inside or out what color code long as they separated it don't matter what side you do black what side you do white long as they separated but now what matters is if you cross an inside with an outside or an outside with an inside that's what matters when you cross them up you're going to get a little arc. Maybe trip a breaker or something like that. But now, you keep these separated like we got them here in these clips from one end to the other, you're good. Then you add pigtail. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the video one more time. I'm going to hook this up. Like I say, I don't have, have any help. And the reason I don't, my wife, as y'all all aware, is having issues with her spinal cord and she had therapy today and she really gets down it, it gets her down after therapy and uh 
she's having a, a, a bad afternoon but I'm capable of doing it and we doing it so we're getting through I'm gonna take a re real quick break again and I'll be right back with you and get the pigtail on we'll get this thing plugged up and hopefully it'll work all right now here's the light put together with the bulbs in looks good brand new free that's the best thing about it free all right let's see this come together and see if we got light and if so we got light we got a free grow light guys free grow light and what's so sweet i got two of them got two of them i put that one together early checked it it works got another one so i can expand now i can put more shelves out here get my grow room to going won't be long we'll have seeds growing we'll get those videos out show you how we do that sure to appreciate you guys thanks for stopping by please like subscribe and share peace